afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, I'm going to take care of a junk mod that I've installed on the Toyota Tacoma. We're going to go with something, hopefully, uh, that will last a little bit longer than just a couple of months. What I'm talking about are the lights in the grill. I've marked them with tape, kind of to make them more visible, and so I remember where to put the new ones. Uh, but I'm talking about these. These were cheapo Amazon lights, and that's exactly what I got. This one kind of half lit up and was flickering, so I'm going to pull them off. Now, the good thing about this, you guys can see down in here, let's see, uh, is that they just plug in over here. So all I have to do is unplug them all, which should be pretty easy, I hope, and then just push them through to the outside because they're really just held in by friction. Let's take a look. Over here are the new ones that I've got. And these came from, who did they come from? Uh, it says Tacoma Lifestyle on the box. I don't remember if that's exactly who they come from or not. Uh, but there's what they look like. I am going with amber to kind of match the amber fog lights that I've put in. I'm going for more of an orange and green look on the truck. And you can see here are the plugs and they look to be the same, I hope. And then they just kind of are held in by friction, these little tabs on the edges. So that's it. Should be a pretty quick mod, I hope, or fix, I should say. So I'm going to try to sit you guys down inside the grill uh, so you can see from the backside what it is that I'm doing. All right, we're going to try to reach down here and unplug this thing. I should be able to do that. And give it a pull. There. It came off of there pretty easily. You guys could see there, hopefully. Going to do the same thing on the next one over. And I don't really care if the uh, light, well that came off easy, if the light plug, if you will, gets damaged because I'm not going to reuse that. So let me flip you around. We'll do the other side. be able to pull these off hopefully just the same way again just pull up the little release and give it a pull pretty easy and the last one here in the back same thing there I've got them all off so now should I think flip you around here be able to just push in on this little nub, and I'm going to grab a screwdriver for this, I think, but push in on that little nub, and I should be able to push them through the front, hopefully. All right, let's give it a little push here, or push, depending on where you're from. Oh, yeah. All right, that was pretty easy. You get the idea, I'm gonna do the same thing to all of the rest. All right, now that I've got them all loosened up, I should, hopefully, be able to pull them through. That may be a chore in itself. They do have to come out this way. I mean, I did, there you go. Just have to get them just right. There you go. So you see, it can be done. There, that takes care of all of the old garbage ones down here. I should have kept track of the one that was bad. Maybe I could reuse them again sometime, I don't know. But, let's grab the new ones. Should be able to stick them through the same way. Man, I hope these fit the same way. Uh, it looks like they will. Uh, we're going to find out. Probably should have tested that before I stick them in, but we're going to take a leap and assume they do. They do fit in easier, so it is a little bit different prong. Uh, and it is, oops, you see that? I put it in the wrong slot. Let's try it up here. There, they're going to fit in just like that. And I am going to try one out uh, on the other end there before I go ahead and put them in. So let me do that, and then we'll get the rest put in. All right, lucky for me, they are not the same. They are not going to be a direct replacement. So what I'm going to do is take the harness 
that it came with, with all the ends on it that actually fit. And I'm going to splice this in uh, to the new one as opposed to rewiring the whole thing. I'm just not going to do that. Uh, so we should be good. So let me go ahead and do that. It's just a simple splice. These two wires, I'll cut the other harness off and wire these to the positive and negative. Uh, and then we'll carry on. Okay, we've got them done. Got them wired up. Uh, boy, this turned into a probably hour plus long project. It was supposed to be, oh, I don't know, about 15 minutes maybe. But as you can see, they are on. Apologize for all the wind noise and whatnot. I know there's a lot of noise, trucks running, of course, but that's what it looks like with uh, just the four lights on. And you notice there's no more flickering or anything crazy like that. Let's uh, let's do a light show. I'm going to turn everything on. Let's see what it looks like. I'm going to fire everything up here go with the headlights they're on fog lights daytime running lights light bar and I don't have a roof light yet so let's see what the front of the truck looks like there you go there's everything on the front got the fog lights the new uh, amber lights I guess the Rob Motive advertisement of course and the headlights that's what the truck looks like pretty darn cool i can dig it i like it anyway leave a comment let me know what you think i'd be curious to know thanks for watching stay safe out there bye